2.12, the number two, I, I don't, I can understand what kind of job he have done, just the one, three. The number two, I don't know. Hi what. guys, sorry. I went on a Hi trip. teacher, welcome, sorry. welcome. <laughs> welcome sorry, I, went on, I went on a short trip, but I'm back. <laughs> I can see teacher, I can see. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, excited. Okay, um, so you were saying that you did it already section one, two, and you're working on number three. Uh huh. And I finished the the midterm exam. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So you are right on track. Excellent. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay, and um, Selena, hi. I'm just asking how, uh, how are you doing in the platform? Hi, everyone. I'm working in the 2.2. Okay, so you're doing 2.2 right now. All right, excellent. Any problems? No, no, not really, no problems. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, excellent. Um, so you, how, what's the percentage that you have at this moment? How much of the platform have you done? For me or for any, anyone? For Nobody. me? How, how, what's the percentage? How, how much do you have finished of the, of the, of the exercises? 30%, 35? No, give me a second. In the, in the progress, uh, I have 6%. Okay, so only six percent. Yes, because I I I I made a two or three exercise, and the answer is incorrect. But I ask for English corporativo to correct answer. Which one? Sorry. Give me a second. Number one, 1. 1.2. Yes. Mm -hmm. What number? What number? Number four or six. I need. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> I tried a lot of ways, but I, I couldn't do that. In number one and. Number four, number five, and number six. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, so um, Selena, what I can suggest is I need you to, um, have you completed any, uh, like have you finished Section one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what my what I suggest about section one is that um, I want you to finish as much as you can of the sections that you understand as much as possible, and um, when you are finished, um, if you have any questions about um, certain exercises. Write them down so I can check. I can ha help you tomorrow with them. Okay, Thank you. but I need I need you to tell me specific exercises that you need to uh, you need me to look at. Actually, you know what we can do um, for this try moment. To do that for, for this moment is number one, two, one, one point two and one point eight for the the first. Objective. 
What what exercises from 1.2 and 1.8? Number four, five, and six. Okay. From both parts? From no. no. Give me a second. If you want, I can send the specifically exercise in the chat, in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, that's what I would. That's why exactly what I wanted you guys to do. Mm -hmm. I want you to write to me exactly which exercises you're having problems with, so I can address specifically those exercises. Because I don't want to be looking at all the exercises. I want to be able to help you just in the ones that you're having problems with. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Selena. Um, and Ceci. Hi, Ceci, how are you doing? Hi, <laughs> and I have a percent, uh, one percent <laughs> in the platform, but <laughs> but the weekend, the last weekend, uh, the weekend, I I will work, I will work in the platform all day, <laughs> all 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 um, Sunday. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ceci, thank you very much for um, uh, for making those plans. Um, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told the others. Remember that the platform is the main part of this uh, the, uh, this course, yes. right? So the the video, like the the video conferences, are pretty much just for us to help you with um, with what is on the platform. So we really need you to work a lot um, more on the platform. Now, remember that you only have until uh, the end of the course. So basically you have until the 16th of this month to finish. So that's that only leaves about 10 days for you to, to work on it. So I don't want you to feel so overwhelmed because remember, we are going to be looking at other activities and everything. So what I what I suggest is, is it possible for you to finish at least half of um, unit one or section, better said of, of section one? Is it possible for you to do it today? Ceci, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, repeat, please. Um, I was asking you if it was possible for you to finish uh, section, like half, half of section one today. Today. Mm. Yeah, only half, only half of section uh, of section one. Okay, I will. I will work in this night. Okay, thank you very much, Sissy. I really appreciate that. And write down any exercises that you're having problems with so I can help you with them tomorrow, okay? Yes. Okay, so guys, right now what we're gonna do is the following. Okay, so I have an idea there of what you're have, what how you're doing, how you're coming along. Um, and that way I can I can help you best with it. But what we're going to do right now, um, I'm, I, because there are some people that haven't even started on the platform, I'm not going to look at the exercises today. I will leave that for tomorrow, okay? But today, I'm going to be teaching you something different, okay? So, um, Let me uh, share with you my PowerPoint.
Okay, can everybody see that? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. So do I. Okay, good, excellent. Oh, I just noticed that it's not Thursday, it's Tuesday. I want it to be Thursday already. <laughs> can you tell? There you go. Okay, so uh, this is advanced English number two. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero and uh, this is day number 10. Uh, today is Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Okay, um, so let's see, Josue, could you help me with the, uh, to read the objective of the class? Yes. Uh, in this class, participants will learn and practice using vocabulary to talk about news, events, and stories. Thank you. Okay, so yesterday I actually asked you to investigate about um, three stories, um, three news stories, and to write a little bit about them, right? Okay, so and today we're going to be expanding a little bit about these news stories, okay? So speaking about news stories, let's look at the vocabulary that uh, we're going to look at and, or sorry, that we're going to be um, using. Okay, um, let me see who can help me with reading. Um, Roxy, could you help me with the vocabulary? Okay. Epidemic, a famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Thank you very much, Roxy. Okay, all right, excellent. Um, this vocabulary here, uh, this word is, we pronounce it famine. Okay, famine. famine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And this one is pronounced hijacking. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Very good. Okay, questions. Um, yes, I have a question. Yeah, okay, good. What does FAMI mean in hacking tool? Okay, good. I, I'm going to go over the vocabulary, uh, the meaning in a moment. But first, I actually want to make sure that everybody understands how to pronounce these words. Okay, okay. so we have epidemic. 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 Good. Okay. Famine. 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 Ha a hijacking. 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 Good. A kidnapping. 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 Good. Natural disaster. Natural, Natural disaster. disaster. Okay. Political crisis. Political, Political crisis. 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 Rebellion. 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 Recession. 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 Robbery. 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 Scandal. Scandal. Good. All right. The first word um, that they asked me about is famine. Anybody have an idea what famine is? There's no food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Famine. That's exactly oh. what it is. Okay. Famine is when there is no food, or better said, not there's not there's no food. It's just that there's not enough food. Okay. So. Um, uh, there's a there's a big lack of food, um, so the maybe there's there's food, but it's it's in very very small quantity. That's famine. For example, in Africa, famine is very common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody understands famine. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Any other vocabulary that you don't understand? Hijacking. Hijacking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hijacking is uh, when somebody um, commits the crime of taking over a means of transportation 
like um, uh, like an airplane, a bus, uh, a ship. While it's in transit, they take over it. Okay, um, they are like they. It's like um, they start commanding. Like they take command of the of the vehicle, and it's not legally that they do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. No? Okay, I'll give you a very, very good example of hijacking. Um, do you guys remember September 11th, 2001? Everybody remembers That's that? That's true. Yeah. That's like a terrorist yeah. attack. It was a terrorist attack, right? You guys remember the, the, the Twin Towers, you know, that they came down? Why did they come down? Because, uh, sure. yeah. because there was a group of people, there were, they were terrorists, that um, they hijacked a plane. So it means they took over, they, um, they stole, they kidnapped, let's say, a, in an illegal way, they kidnapped or they took over control over the plane. Yeah, that's hijack. Does that make sense? So this it means that. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Sorry. Thank you. It means that hijacking is similar to kidnapping. Yes, except that kidnapping is uh, a person. You a person. Uh huh. Uh huh. Force. Hijacking is 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 uh, transportation. Exactly. Something like that. Uh -huh. so, a kidnapping is like that you take somebody by force, mm -hmm. um, whereas a hijacking is taking, um, a, a, yeah, let's say the, a vehicle by force. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary that you don't understand? Mm, no. What session? No. no. Oh, I don't see so. Teacher. Everything's okay? Oh, good, teacher. Oh, good. Okay, good. So, using this vocabulary, now let's discuss these questions. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? Okay, so let's discuss this as a class. How closely do you follow the news? Anybody here uh, really like yeah. the news? Every yes, day. I, I read every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, yeah. good. Okay, excellent, Ro Roxy. How do you follow the news? What kind of stories um, do you follow? Uh, for example, uh, the news. <laughs> uh, today, for example, uh, in the morning, uh, it had uh, disturbed. Sierra. Or problems with transportation, with people that block the street, and uh, many people had to walk to the to the jobs because the, 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 a lot of people block the street, interrupt the transportation. Political crisis. Something. Uh -huh. Okay. Polit yeah, exactly. That would be a political crisis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. What about the others? What kind of stories interest you? I read I read news every day, and I interest in politi political crisis, uh, rebe rebellions, recessions, economic topics, and others. All right, excellent, very good. Okay, anybody else follow the news closely? Not too closely. Not too, huh? not too closely, but I I like to hear, not listen, just hear or hear, just hear uh, about the the pandemic, about the sport, in the politics, but not closely because it's uh, just listen in the TV, 
but I, I, I'm not sure if they are telling. I don't they tell everything. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. Okay, next question. What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Coronavirus. <laughs> I had a feeling that you were going to say that. <laughs> okay, what about, okay, yes, of course, definitely coronavirus has been the topic um, you know, for the last year almost, right? Because uh, we, I, I remember the first time I heard about coronavirus was in January, so almost a year. But what about the rest? What about what? What other? What other topics other than coronavirus have you heard of in the last few years? About politics, the song, the song ex president has been in, in jail. In jail, uh -huh. has been in jail. So some some political has died. Some politicians are outside this country. So they have been exiled. Some some okay. Uh, Be careful with. Teacher is mute. Uh, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Um, I said that I was going to stop sharing for a moment because I want to show you something important. Uh, I find that this, this is a problem that I've seen very common in students. So I'm going to address it right now. Uh, you guys probably know that there is what we call um, the word families. So, so these are words that um, come from the same root. They, they come from the same family. For example, okay, can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to make it very big so that everybody can see it better. Okay, so this these are what we call word families, okay? Word families are words that come from the same root, okay? So these words here, they're very similar. However, you got to be very careful with them because each one of them has um, a different... Um, stress sound okay okay so let's talk about uh the first one how many syllables is this word politics how many syllables three three syllables three. good three we have one two and three right pretty much Okay, something yes. like that. Okay, so we have, so if you guys want to count them, here we have three syllables. Okay, what about this word here? How many yes. syllables is this? Four. 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 <laughs> Good, we have four, so we have, and this, hold on. It will be better if I do it like, there you go, okay. Okay, so we have four syllables. Um, and what about this word here? Maybe three. Four, three. Four. Four, three. Four syllables. Four. You're right, it's four syllables. Okay, here we go. So we have 
one, two, four, three. Okay, so we have three syllables here. Sorry, four, <laughs> my mistake, four, four syllables. Okay, so like I said before, I'm actually gonna fix this one. I don't like how it looks. Okay, so as I said before, um, they are word families. These are words that we, um, that have the same root. Okay, and that's why they look the same. But the thing is that because they are word families, it's very easy to confuse the stress and think that they all have the same stress when it's not that way. Each one of these words has a different stress, okay? And when I'm talking about stresses, I'm talking about the, the, the sound that is the strongest, the emphasis, the same, okay? So my question is, in the first word, how do you pronounce this word? Where is the stress? In the first syllable, the second, or the third? Second. In the first. Oh, okay. Polyrix. Where is the stress on the first one, the second one, or the last one? So. Uh, I'll, I'll say to you how it would sound with each one of the stresses. So if, if we put it on the first stress, it would be politics. On the second, it would be politics. politics. And on the last one, it would be politics. <laughs> no. So which one sounds good. correct? <laughs> the first one. Jose says, Jose says the first one. Do you agree with Jose? Yeah. Politics, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I agree with Jose too. Very good, mm -hmm. excellent. Bravo, Jose. Bravo, bravo. Excellent, bravo. bravo. Okay, bravo. good, exactly. The stress is right here on the first syllable. So be careful. Um, eh, because in Spanish, for example, eh, you say poli politica. politica. The stress is on the second syllable. Be careful, because that's not the case in English. In English, it's not politica. <laughs> they are thinking in Spanish. <laughs> exactly, they're thinking in Spanish. In Spanish. But, yeah, so you gotta be careful with that. The, in this one, it's the first syllable. It's politics. Okay, sounds good? Okay. Okay, good. What about the second one? Where is the stress in the second one? I'm going to pronounce it differently depending on where where the stress would go. If it's on the first one, it would say politician. And if it's in the second, it would be politician. If it's on the third, it would be politician. Mm -hmm. And if it's in the last one, it would be politician. <laughs> what sounds correct? Fair one. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Good, I agree too. Okay. Exactly. Mm. So the stress is on the third on one. The third okay. one. Mm -hmm. Politician. Politician. Not polish. It's not politician. It's politician. Okay. Okay. And the last one. We have four syllables again which one is the one that's stressed? If it was the first one, it would say um, political, political. If it was on the second, it would say political, political. And if it was on the last one, it would say political, political. And if it was on the last one, it would say political, political. So which one sounds correct? Number two, second one. Two. Okay, so I have two opinions, but I think I have more people in my class. So what about their others? Number two. <laughs> second okay. one. Second one. There are some people that are being very shy. I don't know if it's because 
they're afraid of making a mistake, but that's okay. You don't have to be, a, you don't have to get it right. I mean, I just want your opinion. I agree to number two as well. Yes. Number two. Okay, since the majority say number two, and because they're right, I'm going to choose number two. Very good, excellent. Okay, there you go. So the stress is on the second, I would say political, political. So do you see how this works? Even though we're talking about the same root of the word, but each one has a different stress syllable. In the first one, we have the first stress, the first syllable of stress, and the other one is the third one is stress, and in this, the, this one is the second one that is stress. So be very careful because it's not the same in Spanish and in English. Right? Like this one, for example, right. in, Sp in, in, in Spanish is político. Político. Political. Right? Mm -hmm. Un político. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, so right. it would be on the second syllable. <laughs> so be careful. Right? Okay? So this, this, yeah, it's it's very <laughs> tricky. I know. Um, I know you wanna. It's 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 human nature to want to do it like translate it from your your language, but it's not a good idea. You got to be able to identify that in English they, there are other rules. Okay. Got it, everybody. Got it, teacher. Good. Got it. Yes, okay. got it. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. All right. So the last question here is, do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? What is your opinion about that question? No, all them. I, I I think they have to to produce a lot of news because they have to do uh, how do you say uh, marketing and they have to, to take the attention for the people. Okay, all right. Excellent, thank you for your opinion. All right, I would like to hear um, some of the people that have been very quiet today. Um, how about Selena? Selena, what do you think about this last question? Do you think, story, uh, think stories about sports where celebrities count as real news? No, I think many, many news about celebrity is, is higher than the real, really. Okay, thank you, Selena. Thank you for your opinion. Okay, all right. And what about um, Ceci? What do you think about this last question, Ceci? So do you think stories about sports with celebrities count as real news? Ceci, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I, I have in this moment a, a connect, bad connect. But uh, in this moment, I see, I can see the, the, the picture. Uh, I read uh, the, the, three, the three sentences. Okay, that's okay, Ceci. Um, yes, I'm asking about number three. Three, okay, uh, in this moment. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of the story interests you? 
Okay, Ceci, just just question number three. If you can answer question number three. Okay, so only only three. Mm -hmm. Only three. Read only three. Okay. Yes, number uh, three. Okay. Do you think stories about the sport or celebrate uh, count as real news? So what what is your what is your opinion, Ceci? My opinion, my opinion about the the story about the sport or celebrity. What? My opinion about the sport is very important because I have a two two boys. Uh, uh, the boys uh, is um, only 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 watching sport and the football and the soccer 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 uh, uh, because uh, because they like they like the football and then um all all the all all the life uh, i watch the the new the new sports uh with with them you watch the sports news yes the work the, sports oh, news. the other way around not not uh new sport but sports news sport news okay thank mm -hmm. you teacher. sport news okay you're welcome all right thank you ceci excellent okay very good okay um now speaking about um news if you notice in the news, lots of people uh, will be using a lot of reported speech. Remember, we, we were looking at reported speech um, in the last few days. But it, we were looking at, when we were talking about reported speech, um, basically we were working with only he said, she said, they said, um, he told me, she told me. So those are the most common, right? Uh, the, those are the common, the most common way to report when someone says something. Now, something you have to take into account, though, is that it's boring to hear just someone saying all the time, he said this, and then he said that, and then he told me this, and then he said that, and then he told me this. It's very boring just to use say, 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 or tell, tell, tell. So something that can help you to be a little bit more, um, to sound a little more natural, to make it a little bit more interesting what you are reporting, or in this case, what somebody, if you are reporting the news, is that you can use these verbs here, okay? Um, let me see who hasn't, Nuvia, can you, can you read these expressions for me? Okay, teacher. Every. Yes, um, all of them, yes. Okay. He claimed that. He claimed that. He claimed that. Yes, thank you. He promised to. He promised to. He promised to. Good, thank you. Uh -huh. He told me that. He advised me to. So he asked me to. He wanted to know. He told me to. He encouraged me to. He warned, warned me not no. Not to. He warned me not to. He warned me not to. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He explained that. He asked me. He wondered. Thank you. Okay. With this one, just be careful. Uh, you say not. Um, it's not he asked. You say he asked. This the the sound at the end is like a T. So asked. Can you repeat that, Nubia? Mm 
Nubia, Nubia, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Could you repeat that part here and pronounce this word with the a T sound at the end? Okay. He asked me. Okay. Good. Excellent. That's much better. He asked. Asked me to. Okay. Good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What about the the meaning of these of these verbs? Do we understand what they mean? Do we understand claim? Do you understand the meaning of claim? Okay. Okay, um, it sounds like it, but actually it's something different. Anybody know what is claimed? No? Okay, claim is to say that something is true, but not have evidence that it's true. Okay, so you just, you say, yes, yes, it's true. I Trust me, it's true. But you have no way to prove that what you're saying is the truth. So, for example, he claimed that he didn't, um, that, that he didn't steal the money. But there's no way that he can prove it. Okay, He's, he says, yes. Um, uh, it, it happened, like, or better said, I am innocent, but he can't prove it to anybody. Okay, so claim, do we, do we understand the meaning of claim? Yes. yes How would you say claim in Spanish? Reclamar? Mm, nope. No. No. Mm -mm. Remember, the claim is to say that something is true, but not have proof that it, that what you're saying is true. Any ideas? Asegurar. Yeah, to be, to be sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, asegurar. Él, él asegura que él no se robó el dinero. Mm -hmm. But can he prove it? Tiene evidencia? No, he doesn't. Okay. But he says, no, I didn't steal the money. I'm sure of it. It's, that's claim. Do we understand the meaning of claim? Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, asked, ask me to, when you say he asked me to, it means that he asked a, a favor of me. He said, he said to me, please do this. For example, he asked me to lend him some money. So it means that he asked me for a favor. Okay. It's like when you say in Spanish, me pidió. Me pidió que hiciera tal cosa. Okay. Here, warned. What is the meaning of warned? Advertir. Advertir. Very good. Exactly. Um, very good. So, uh, so, uh, so you're you're telling someone that there's a danger, right? And you're saying don't do it because it's bad. There's a danger to it. Okay. He promised. What does it mean to be promised? Prometer. Yeah. Exactly. He promised to. Be careful with that word. That, that's another word that I hear a lot being mispronounced. It's promised, not promise. promise. It's not promise. promise. It's mm -hmm. promise. Promise. And it's not, so it's not pro, it's pra. The stress, the, the, the sound, the vowel sound is aw, uh, pra, promised. Okay. And then he said he wanted to know. Like you say, like quería saber, right? He explained that. Explicar. Mm -hmm. Explico. Mm -hmm. He told me that that one's very easy. What's the difference between he told me that and he told me to? Mm 
What's the difference between these two? He told me that, he told me to. No ideas? Okay, let me explain very quickly. He told me that means that it's like it almost like saying he explained. The first one, it's like saying he explained. He told me to, it's like an order. So he, he ordered me. So he told me that is like saying, él me dijo que, o él me explicó que, and he told me to, it would be like, él me, me dijo que hiciera tal cosa. Okay, it's like an order. Okay, he asked me, that would be él me preguntó, right? So that would be more of a question. This one, he advised me to, it means to give an advice, right? So give a suggestion, a recommendation. He encouraged me. Encourage means to say to someone, come on, do it, you can do it. Don't, don't give up, right? And to make the person want to continue, okay? And finally, he wondered, it means that he was asking himself. He had the doubt, he had a question, okay? Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, wonderful. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, um, is, actually, you were, well, I, I wanted to get a little bit further, but we're going to stop there because of the time. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, make sure that we use this vocabulary the vocabulary that we have learned today um, to report tomorrow the new stories that we um, that we wrote about for homework. Do you remember that I signed for homework, the new stories? So tomorrow we're going to be reporting them and I want you to use this vocabulary. So you can talk about this, this you can use these words here and you can also use the words that we saw here, right? So uh, epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnap, natural disasters, political crisis, rebellion, recession, rob robbery, and scandal. Okay, sounds good? Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Great, yeah. excellent. All right, guys. Um, so do me a favor, don't forget to send me in the WhatsApp group. I see it that some you guys have already sent some, but don't forget to send me what are the exercises you need help with so I can go to more over those specific exercises. Okay. Excuse me, can you agree? Can you agregarme join to WhatsApp group, please? Uh, Selena, um, actually, I can't do it because you have to join yourself. Um, there, mm -hmm. there is an email that they sent you um, with, okay, okay, the, okay. with the link. Okay. Yes. So if you go to that email, you click on that link, it will go directly to the WhatsApp group and it, it will let you join. It's very easy, yes. actually. Yes. Very thank easy. you. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Well, that will be all for today. Thank you guys for being such wonderful students and i hope that tomorrow i have at least at least um everybody that has started on the platform because we really really need to get this uh, finished okay all right guys so take Bye. care and i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye Bye. thank you see you see you bye-bye bye take care